Synesthetic. News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group at Prince Amila Entertainment TV. We're also available on Twitter at P Mila ENT and also on our site. site um up yes we're there it's a prince miller podcast on the podcast section follow us there subscribe today is the 11th of uh, march uh, 2022 welcome to another edition of a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news and uh, so guys uh, as mpf is satisfied with the structured and peaceful manner in which the campaign rallies are taking place ahead of the march 26 by elections this comes at a time when political parties are getting themselves ahead of the upcoming national assembly and local authority by elections speaking at the media briefing at the party headquarters in harare yesterday the npf national political commissar comrade mike bima said party structures were fully behind candidates for the forthcoming by elections we are satisfied that the campaigns are proceeding well in a structured and peaceful manner as a party we don't believe that violence is part of a modern and democratic means of engaging voters we are confident as a party that our record under the new dispensation is clear our plans are solid and the party structures are working flat out at, at local level to get the voter understand our policies and record of performance and delivery on key issues said Komal Bima. Komal Bima further said the party is committed to selling its policies to the people through democratic means we are happy that apart from the more visible public meetings in form of rallies that most people follow with passion our party structures constituted as mobilization committees at ward and constituency level are putting their best foot forward to make a strong case for the election of our candidates these are supported by efforts of the candidates and provincial leadership in every province. The NPF Urban Renewal success stories will prevail in the impending by-elections. Urban Renewal Plan will put cities back on track on the roads uh, towards the smart cities trajectory. In urban areas, Komi Bima said the party have clear plans to restore sanity and to restructure the bulk of the unplanned settlements to the advantage of the current occupants. We intend to create an urban environment that promotes wellness and the sense of community and the framework of urban regeneration that supports livelihoods for households, vendors, informal businesses and small medium enterprises. In our rural constituencies, issues of food security, health, education, water and transport form a critical point of engagement with the community and voters. We are on track on most of the issues, he said. He highlighted that the party will be holding two presidential rallies this weekend with one in Karoi on Saturday to be addressed by the national chairperson, Comrade Opamu Chunguru Kashiri, while Vice President Kosino Chuenga will address another rally in Mutare on Sunday. There has been a trend of people returning to Sanupia from MDC formations and other parties. Recently, Comrade Bima said there has been an interest trend of people returning to Sanupia from MDC and other smaller parties. We are particularly happy to receive them. We confirm that we are receiving very helpful and effective facilitation from the leadership of the returnees under the Uyaiku Musha initiative. Sanu remains very welcome to those that are returning to the party and we continue to make significant inroads through the Uyaiku Musha program. Sanu PF candidate for Kambuzuma constituency, Comrade Oscar Nyamunokora said the campaign process is going on well. The electorate want tangible results, they want candidates who are eager to transform their lives. In my constituency, the issue of service delivery is a topical issue. They want running water from their pipes, title deeds and some informal settlements and rehabilitation of roads, said Comrade Nyamunokora. And yeah, so guys, that's the latest here regarding to my campaigns with NPF. They are saying that uh, they are going well and everybody is happy because they are recruiting as many people as possible from other political parties like MDC, MDC Alliance, CCC and other political parties and the opposition parties I want to say we are going to show and the yes I don't know if I saw that you didn't think you didn't think I don't know what you want to say and I will go Musha was a new PF and the end they are really eager to reclaim some of the um, urban areas and uh, as we know that 
most of the urban areas anga batwa ne mdc alliance ne ccc ya wachamisa but it's nice and pf is looking forward to grab those seats and uh, for the past 20 years we've seen the opposition political parties dominating in uh, urban areas as for rural constituencies they are saying that they are confident that they will reclaim those are rural uh, areas and uh, so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop as we lead towards Naima by elections at March 26 uh, 2022 Pasara ne almost like a week or so and uh, saga many political parties this weekend are gonna be campaigning Zanupia is gonna be in Karoi and uh, Manikaland ED is away at the moment so uh comrade Opam Chunguri yes uh, Rashiri she's gonna be in Karoi and uh, Wachuenga is gonna be um in Manikaland on Sunday as for CCC, you can see uh, police have denied that rally and uh, for uh, Marondera tomorrow. They are saying that they are supposed to notify the police within seven days, seven working days. And so, it's uh, so CCC is not the first time that they've been having problems with the police. Uh, that one, they could go like a council of Zakari because of the police saying that at uh, main power. And uh, but you know, you know, last minute, last minute in the panels on those ones, you cannot hold a rally here. Sakamuto and Megoto tea, the playing field is not equal because I don't think with the um, comrade Opam Chunguri Kashiri, Waka apply my police, our poor, the same result here. You can see, Ukaroi, we cannot do this because you guys didn't uh, notify us seven days before. I don't think so. I don't think so. With Washington, we have players like Karuma Nikaland. I don't think so. So, what do you uh, The relationship between uh, the police and the citizens' coalition for change needs to improve, and that uh, they need to work with the police. I don't know. Which maybe my police are not going to the ruling party. No one knows. And uh, is my phone going to look at? I don't want to pull my orders from from the top, but. Apana Mavile Venaripo, I think that he uh, one of my command from the top offices. So, this day, we're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding to our citizens' coalition for change rally in Marundi that tomorrow could he chisha it up was Nayacho, yeah, by end this work with our reds Mosha as we speak right now. And in a so, but the last Monzora, the man is gonna be in um, I feel at Zimbabwe grounds on Sunday the 13th of um march 2022 i'm really really looking forward to that rally because uh, some people have been saying that monzora is not getting any people as some of these uh, meetings are council because people who are showing up to his rallies are few so sunday is gonna be a testimony of where the mdc alliance is standing but as for me as i said earlier on on some of my videos i said i know i'm not really you know concerned about people who are coming to the rallies i'm concerned about people who are actually uh voters who are gonna be voting and then do another question who are registered to vote because my rallies have been fooling us for for decades saying that okay munazo jiwa say yang angane wano wanga wanda kudaro angaza is that jama stadium but my number kuya as we balance and is right and so the spotlight is on the voter registration and also on zeg is my electoral commission the open my so you say pap was the can go down with the can go down to 10 1 15 1 20 but also time is come so good for money i believe on 10 and 20 and then the 20,000 in that constituency most of us what is look for us and we've seen this happening so many times and so guys uh, this is our uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on prince and mail and the tv zan pf is happy with the way the campaigns are moving for them and it uh, is what i violence or at the iowa is also with violence of course as npf have been denying uh violence even in quick they say that they don't have a hand of what happened in quick whereby one person passed away uh his name was um Mube. may you so rest in peace they said that they don't know those people i'm tango ratoti it was stage managed by citizens coalition for change guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv thank you for listening and watching bless up